Oh, hi. I'm Dan, and you're watching Batarang to the Butt. And this is obviously a little bit different to what you're used to. Here I am in the flesh, or the kind of pixely internet goodness. Anyway, the reason I'm here with this face uh, is to kind of bookend this video. I made this video a good couple of weeks ago, but I posted it to Facebook and then I didn't bother posting it to YouTube. I've actually got two videos that I need to post to YouTube. I'm not very good at that, I'm a bit lazy. So basically what I'm here to say is that if you want more regular content, if you want all sorts of geeky good stuff, be sure to go and check out the Facebook page because I post there at least three times a day, sharing art that I like, sharing the comics that I'm currently reading, and a couple of opinions and bits and pieces. So be sure to go and like that page. I would really appreciate it. But don't if you're a jerk. I've already got enough people getting upset about dumb things like new Ninja Turtles and the very fact that the character of Ms. Marvel exists. So if you're one of those guys, if you're easily triggered, don't. But if you're cool and you want to have conversations about comics, that's my whole jam. I love that. So yeah, head over to the Facebook page and give it a follow. Leave the gatekeeping at the door. I don't want any of that. Oh, and I guess while we're here as well, I'll just show off my new tattoo. I mean, this is so irrelevant to the video, but if I'm going to show off my face, I might as well show off my arm as well. Check it out. It's still healing. In fact, it's starting to peel a little bit, so it's getting a bit itchy. It's from Batman Adventures Issue 1, which is the spin-off of the animated series. And the art is by Ty Templeton. And I tweeted Ty, and he tweeted back, and now we're pretty much best friends. But anyway, I'm going to chuck it back to uh, a past version of myself. I mean, I'm currently also... A past version of myself if you're watching this but I'm gonna chuck it back to pastor them I, I can be a pretty good pastor uh, anyway yeah look here here's the video in this video I'm gonna tell you all about one of comic books greatest beefs my name is Ben and you're watching Batarang to the butt Black Manta is an Aquaman supervillain and also a strong contender for the world's pettiest comic book character all because of his pure endless hatred of Aquaman <laughs> Ba -da -ba! That's right! It is I, Aquaman! Yeah, that guy. Manta is a hater through and through. And he's done some pretty awful things. But arguably, the worst of all was in the Death of a Prince storyline, when he lured Aquaman and his sidekick Aqua Boy into a trap. He forces the duo to fight as Aquaman's son, aka Aqua Baby, slowly suffocated in an oxygen filled encasement. Because Aqua Baby could only breathe underwater. Aquaman manages to destroy the death trap using his trident, but it's too late. Aqua Baby had already suffocated. Losing a kid is bad enough, but to make matters worse, Aquaman's wife, Mira, holds him responsible for the death and frequently tells him so. So, Black Manta killed both Aquaman's kid and ruined his marriage. Then, sometime later, Aquaman is tasked as being the UN ambassador for Atlantis. While he is giving a speech at the UN, his old nemesis Black Manta makes his big return, cruelly asking, how's the wife and kid, before they clash once again. Oh, and one more thing, Aquaman buried his son in a place called Mercy Reef, the place where he had been left as a child to die. But wouldn't you know it, Black Manta would later destroy Mercy Reef. And that is all just the tip of Manta's pettiness iceberg. The character is a real jerk, but it's incredibly entertaining and makes him a great villain. Here's a quick rundown of some of his other pettiest moments. He later joined the Suicide Squad because Waller gave him a helmet upgrade that lets him see all of his enemies as Aquaman, so he can kill him over and over without actually putting Aquaman out of his misery. Manta has said that if he did successfully kill Aquaman, then he would have nothing left to live for. But, like most popular superheroes, Aquaman did eventually get a death storyline, which led Black Manta to actually retire from villainy, and instead he took up a job at a fish market. However, when he discovered that Aquaman had come back to life, he immediately slaughtered his customers and a co-worker, burned his own house down, and put his Black Manta suit back on once again. Later again, in a storyline called Forever Evil, he decides that he doesn't want to work with Captain Cold because Cold's guns will make people numb, and Black Manta doesn't want them to be numb. So yeah, he's pretty intense and extremely petty. He's just like me for real. Can't just leave him there. Quick, get out! Oh, thanks for saving me, Aquaman. Sorry, I can't do the same for you. 
Hello again, it's it's me, just like I said, bookend link, so that, that kind of means either side. Here I am again anyway, just to say that the next video, which is another one that I've already made a good while ago, is about someone who's even more of a hater than Black Manta. So if you've enjoyed this and you want to see a character who's even more of a jerk, stay tuned. The next video is already out on Facebook, so you can go and watch it there. Or, like I said, I'll post it here in a week or so, I guess. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye.